It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my min-maxing series as Shiny. We're at this point, min-maxing, multiplayer has kind of gone out the window and I'm just kind of playing the game. The most part is defending against the Japanese and that part has been done. So the game is just me just playing around now. Yeah, it is pretty much that. Me just playing around, having a bit of fun. Right, you guys are arriving. It's causing a massive supply problem, but whatever. Build up some organization. Supply isn't too bad. And then launch an assault in here. And here. Getting over that big river. I knew that would be a problem. And then we're still going. No one's going to stop us now. Oh my god, the supply there is so bad. Blitzkrieg, not very good when there are really, really crappy roads. Alright, might as well launch an attack with you as well. If we knock out Siam, uh, then uh, there'll be a lot of floating troops that we can take care of. Uh, this has one. And they've got 70%. So if we take out the two main cities here, Bangkok, and this one, it's over. Right click, and right click, and submarine two. Go, go, go. Alright. Well, that's up to date now. Work on the computer machine. Oh, nice. Whip around the back of me. We've got supply again now. <laughs> You guys can go here. Work on that submarine. Very, very, very risky maneuvers here. Uh, but I, I know I can get away with it because I'm playing the AI, so... I am taking advantage of that. Oh, what's that? They've lost Rome. Oh, that's new. Don't see that very often. Players, do not take Bangkok again. That would really, really upset me. Are they really holding on? Uh, Japanese. 88%. Another invasion in northern China. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to make lots and lots of crappy old subs. We might upgrade them to the, the latest versions eventually, but for now, those ones will be okay. Ah, there's one here. This might be enough to tip them over. Oh, I've lost Bangkok again. Bangkok has no forts, okay. We got them. There's a lot of troops sat there, isn't there? They seem to be concentrating to really weird points. At this point, we outnumber them based on overall division, so you have this ability to do these really wacky pushes where we can hold them in place and create these, like, in circumference in like random places. 
tend to notice this when you attack and put them on aggressive as well. Which is definitely pretty good. Okay. Here, here. And there you go, Sam's gone. And that's great because there's like so many floating divisions now so we can just take them out nice and easy. We've also got lots of rubber too now so we don't have to worry about importing rubber. Which is good. And now we can uh, finally do the death blow on you. They're moving in. Yep, they're done. Excellent. Um, guns are a bit of a concern. And then artillery again, as usual. How's the war with the Soviets going? So they've uh, pushed for the east. They've grabbed. Wow. 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 Le wow. Hang on, is that Ukrainian or is that is that French? Le wow. Oh look, and Italy's falling. So maybe this will be a shorter than I thought experience, who knows? Alright, at this point, repairs probably would be a good idea. Siam is number one. Yep, I think we've got them now. I think a right click would be in order. Oh no, no, maybe not. Be aware, one strategy that the Japanese player could do as well that I've just realized is there's three ports owned by Europe here. Hong Kong, Macau, and that one. Uh, what the um, the Japanese player could do is he could wait for when he declares war on them and plan an invasion in advance and just grab it nice and easy. Be aware though, the only one really worth grabbing is Hong Kong because of the six port. All the other ones are pretty bad. It's a nice to know though because it's a nice cheeky strat that Japanese could player could do. Not a lot you could do about it really. I guess you could place troops right next to it just to move into it immediately when... Uh, well, actually, you couldn't do that either because you can't ask for access. So you'd have to just plan an attack of Hong Kong. Uh, even though you're not going to attack the British, you're going to attack the Japanese when they arrive. So I suppose you could do that in advance. Hey, we're done. Excellent. No! Shit. He's the coastal guy, isn't he? And I've just reset the whole orders. Oh, shit. Have to do the uh, the clicking again. Getting over those rivers is a pain. Guys, I can go for extensive, then go for total mobile. 21 million dudes. Alright, we're gonna bring you guys back now, so we don't need you guys here anymore. Go here. You guys can be converted to my best infantry as well. Do, 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 do. We selected everyone. Go, go, go. Alright. That's in the capital, isn't it? Yep. That was to get the maximum supply out of my capital.
Final division is gone with a, an absolutely crazy amount of defense. All right, that's it. The Japanese are finally out of the mainland Asia, okay? Finally gone, once and forever. Gone, 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 gone. There's convoys that were lost. Those were the ones that were the rubber transports, weren't they? From a very long time ago. These guys, you are the coastal front. Have I lost my coastal front again? I've assigned them to the wrong guy, haven't I? I've assigned them to him. Oh, no, no, no. That was the northern front. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. All right, we're really behind on guns, so I guess we can get rid of some of these divisions now. And there you go, we're almost catched up on artillery as well now. Oh, and the Japanese are back once again. I think, uh, I don't think I'm actually going to move my troops. I think I'm just going to leave them. Oh, uh, maybe no. Oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, they've got a port. Fuck. No, I'm going to have to do. It's another opportunity to destroy a bunch of their divisions again. Yeah, it is. They're going to have pretty pretty much no divisions left by the end of this. Oh, we've got a D-Day. And we also have a crippled Italy. We also have a Greece being really annoying in the south too. Not really looking, looking too good for the Axis, guys. This is like a multiplayer game. It's ending in 1941. It is like a multiplayer game. After all. Yeah, at this point in the game, the uh, Japanese player usually rage quits. This is a level 2-4. I guess you can make a defensive here now. Nope. Not possible. Need the stronger division to do that. It's okay, we're, I'm willing to lose this anyway, it's okay. It's all good. Alright, so we can plan an invasion of uh, Hyor. Make it a full 30. Go here, exercise. Behind on artillery by a wee bit. Game's slowing down massively due to the fact that it's the, the AI's fighting in the Soviet Union. I don't want to turn around and see that they broke through there, so I want to get make sure that's nice and secure. So construction repair is useless now, so go for construction engineering. All those ones are useless anyway, so I don't want them. Look at a navy of mainly crappy old submarines. It's a, a skill five admiral, though. He makes it makes the most of what little he has. Um, getting put to XP a day. Just want them to be all trained before I launch my invasion. We're almost there. Done and done. Stop. Why aren't we all assigned? There we go. For some reason it won't let me. AI derped out. Hopefully we won't engage them. We managed to escape. No, lost another one. Lost another one. Lost another one. No! <laughs> oh shit.
<laughs> Damn. Wrecked. I wonder what a strategy would work like if you just had like a lot of crap old planes, you know, just you just went for numbers, quantity over quality. I'm kinda curious to see how it'd play out. This has been a bit of a bizarre game, guys. Yugoslavia's joined the Axis and not had a coup. Um, Germany's annex Hungary. Uh, yeah, and then we've got a weird D-Day, and then we've also got a kind of a weird landing into Italy as well. It's pretty bizarre. Oh, what's this? Are we fighting them? It looks like we are. Oh, our planes are intercepting their ships. I see what's happening now. Yeah, yeah. I guess I could make naval bombers, couldn't I? Something I could do. Naval bombers, are, by the way, are very, very strong. It's like they're a hidden secret in the game. Like those super strong, well-rounded naval bombers. I think these are the ones on the carriers, aren't they? How many planes have they got? A lot. Well, actually, no, about the same as me. I guess they must have lost them in accidents or something. Are we able to do a counterattack? About to lose a lot of guns, I can feel it. No, that was it. We've run out of momentum. We managed to gain one tile. I'm kind of impressed with the amount of uh, planes we've got as well. The numbers are pretty epic. Oh, we've got some close air support as well. Oh, they've all been destroyed. Okay. Um, could you be assigned on here? Oh my god, we've got so many aces! Uh, okay. Yeah, so if you think about it, if you want to do like a really easy para drop, what you could just do is mass produce planes just to get air superiority. Because one really, really high advanced plane costs... Yeah, so one really, really advanced plane costs one air superiority. And then one old, shitty old plane has one air superiority. So they're all the same. So I technically couldn't mask pieces of crap to get air superiority to do power drops. Could be a strategy there, guys. There's exploits. Oh, no. Not looking good for Germany. Losing in the east. Stalled in the south. Annoyances in the south. And in the west, not looking too good either, boys. Oh, no. Could we maybe? No, it's too far. One also strat that works quite well. If you're nervous that a certain area might get landed on, you could build more coastal forts too. Build up to level three before it becomes doesn't become cost effective. But here's a good one for a coastal fort. Definitely here. And. Uh, Here's a good one too, because of close to your capital, which has a lot of production you could lose. So it's something to be aware of. Good, good, good. I think we've lost all... Of oh, no, we've only got two of those left. That's good. We're still making them. If you can see, we're losing considerably more than they're losing, because our planes are absolute rubbish. Got him. You guys can join the... No! That guy. There you go. We only hold in the coastlines again? Yep. Done. Alright, are we ready for our glorious assault into Japan? Are we ready? 
think we're probably gonna have to go immediately, otherwise we're gonna get absolutely screwed. Screwed? Is that even a word? Lack from coast of Japan. We are covering that region, but we're just getting intercepted. Oh, there's uh, Soviet Soviet ships here as well. They'll be able to help us out <laughs> by a very limited amount, probably. Did that work? No! A glorious fleet! Naval supremacy. It's too little, we can't do it. Shit. Uh, we need naval bombers to be able to do this. I'm actually finding this quite fun, actually. This is actually really, really fun. Uh, I really like the uh, I like the challenge of trying to break the AI and the big navy and whatnot. I think it's kind of cool. That's here. They're all in the north. We don't have any close air support anymore. Oh, we do. We have one. One single plane. One hero. I'm starting to like close air support more and more and more as days go on, you know. I think it's, uh... I think it's more flexible than tactical bombers. USA, are you in this war yet? No! USA, what are you doing? Oh, embargo, Jim. They're on the way. They're on the way. They're working on it. Uh, close air support, I'm aware of that. Upgrade the submarines. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, one. Alright, our capital's got some insane supply now. Not really anything. Oh, yeah, we're going to go for Toll Mobile, weren't we? There you go. We can do it now because we've got the uh, extensive conscription. Be aware, extensive conscription does slow down your training time. So if you are mass producing infantry, it is going to add an extra 10% on for training time. All right. I'll stop for a moment. Just chill for a sec. And I need to meet those naval bombers, don't I? Almost max production too. All right, uh, I'm trying to think what's our main priorities right now. I think we're probably going to be better off with advanced machine tools. Yeah. Damn, the game has slowed down so much. It's because of the amount of combat that's happening. Germany is on the road to losing, no shadow of a doubt right now. Italy's not recovering. Uh, it does look like there's more openings happening in the Baltic too. Uh, they definitely pushed massively back because they had... Oh, they had this one, didn't they? The Wow. Le wow. And this pocket's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Germany is on its last legs. Oh, another ace. Nice. Alright, I think we'll make another row of you. do that. I uh, need the aluminium. Need the oil too. We don't actually need more fighters, but we'll convert these fighters into the naval bombers when they arrive. When I have the option to do it, which is going to be in 70 days. So, in the meantime, I might as well just watch and see how the war's going along right now. Give a bit of a commentary. Sicily's still holding firm. Mainland Italy is crippled and the split between the two. Making gains in the further south, pushing towards the south of Naples. Also pushing north towards Gula. It does look like it is in a state where I don't think Italy can recover. Some interesting pockets have Marseille here. And also in Savoy in the north. Interesting, in the Alps. 
Vichy France is getting landed on from uh, from Bordeaux too. And uh, the opening that seemed to happen around about Dunkirk and Calais has opened up massively. They have retaken Paris. All of Belgium has been... All of it? Well, almost, just that one tile hasn't been liberated. And half of the Netherlands have been liberated. And all of Luxembourg have been liberated. The push from the east from the Soviets is massive. In one huge swoop, they've grabbed Warsaw and creeping towards Berlin. Absolutely gargantuan pocket. This is their weakest spot more than likely. And they're holding firm in the mountains here. Uh, they're dug in here. But here they've broken away and they've lost everything. This is an unrecoverable Germany. Interesting pocket happening here. Um, Yugoslavs, how are they doing? Only 41 divisions. One ship, one boat. And then you got the uh, Greeks holding quite firm. They look like they've just been split, though, into two parts, which is going to be a bit of a concern. The AI usually gets a bit confused with two front lines. So that might cause more problems for the Greeks. So producing more submarines is going to be worthwhile for me because I can get naval supremacy. But their fleet is still really big. In fact, it is huge. It is unfightable, unfortunately. Unfightable as it stands at the moment. We have to just pick them off and pick and choose our fights when we want to engage. Can we maybe go here? It's kind of weird to see so many like old, old, old planes. You know, it's really bizarre. How long we got until we get our naval? 37 days. We should be able to punch out, pump out at least one, uh, seven a week at least. Norway was never taken, but was declared on by Germany. Denmark was completely gobbled up. Bit of a slowdown here with the board. They're closing a few pockets in the north. Slovakia is looking in a very dire state. What are those? Oh, they're Soviet planes. Oh no. Oh no. And the Greeks are pushing further north. Yep. Oh, they had Paris, but it looks like the Vichy French have pushed them back. Interesting. So this land now... Paris is actually controlled by Vichy France. There you go, guys. You didn't know that, did you? Now it has happened. Vichy France has become uber strong. It looks like they've also pushed them back from Bordeaux, so this pocket is about to close. Vichy France is single-handedly defending against these massive invasions all over. If you look at all the battles that are happening, they're all over Europe. Germany is surrounded. The Italians are in a bit of a desperate stage too. It's a sad, sad, sad day for the Germans. The last submarine is in 1944, so we couldn't even do that if we wanted to. So we are producing the right ones. We're producing the submarine threes. Yeah, that's good. So have a look. Have we got any mini ships here? We have a total of 55 to 63. Total of 54 to 63. So there is absolutely no way we'll get naval supremacy. I think we need a total of 75%. So we're not even gaining 25. So that ain't happening. We probably would have been better producing the old, old, old subs. But whatever. I'm trying to think if we concentrate on these are the right thing to do. I mean, this makes our subs better. Actually, this is completely useless because that makes light cruisers and stuff better. So that's pointless. I guess we could make fighters. Could work on our doctrines. We could work on, on our tech. Hmm. The Soviets have reached the Romanian border and are pushing through the mountains. It does look like they've reached Slovakia too, fighting in the mountains. Oh, no, they've stopped. It does look like the Germans have controlled their front here. Maybe the German, the Soviets have slowed, maybe? Who knows? It does look like the Vichy French are pushing them towards Calais here. Are they going to out, push out the, the French? Another landing here, strangely enough. Another another French suicide mission. Actually, it could be it could be anyone, actually. It doesn't have to be French. It just flips to France because that was there. That's part of the Allies. It was a corps that was there. All right. We now have naval bombers, which we're going to give more attack, more reliability. If 
good. We're actually producing naval bombers now. Oh, wow, I was completely wrong. I thought we could produce at least... Initially, when we first got it, I thought we could produce at least one a day, but we're not nowhere near that. That is actually really quite annoying. Can you get like, one close air support? It's really annoying me. There you go, our first nav bomber. Uh, this guy... Naval targeting, plus 15%. Ooh. So the plan now is to try and pick them off from the sea. That is the plan. Oh, two are dead. Three are dead. Four are dead. Oh, we've got the casualties. We've got a lot of varying planes here. Mines are pretty straightforward. A Lai Shao Huang Zhi Type 3. Oh. That one. That's the one. You guys arrived yet? God, we're producing those pretty quick, aren't we? I'm actually pretty impressed with that. That's actually going a lot quicker than I thought. No, not that one. Is that the right one? Yeah, it's that one. The Soviet used as Anax Tanotiva. It is a dark, dark day. All right, I expected this to be the last episode, but I guess not. I think we're going to probably run on one more. Uh, just to see the final conclusion of the game. If I leave this game unconcluded, I'm going to get like lots of comments of you guys getting really high rate. Because I actually like to end these and finish them completely. Um, yeah, so I'll probably play one more episode to finally conclude the end of Germany, Italy, and Japan. And, well, Romania as well. And Yugoslavia as well. Don't forget about those as well. Oh, and Bul oh no, 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 Bulgaria. Okay. Oh, and Italy. And it's Italy. And Spain as well. Can't forget all the Axis members, guys. All of them are equally as important, or not so important, depending on how you see it. Remember to like and subscribe, guys, to click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.